Good morning. Welcome to class. Happy Sunday. So let's start getting into our bodies, sit into easy pose, and do a little movement. Get that spine and shoulders and neck a little bit more comfortable. Any rotation, any stretch, any movement that your body intuitively recognizes right now. Getting that urge to move out of the way so we can sit still. So come back to your center and let's go ahead and share our con of the day. Everybody has one of these little cards. So we get to read what we have. So Jane, you wanna start? <laughs> She's like, I'm already done. My meditative state is here, I'm fine. I don't need a con. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. So life, it's a gift to us from God. And the way you live our life, it's a gift back to God. Yeah. Awesome. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Heart. Yeah. Out of her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a year of transformation. We are all as a species and as individuals are gonna let go of a lot of stuff that was not really serving us, even though on the surface it could have been. Uh, but whatever needs to be let go of, we need to be okay with letting go of because something better and fresh and new will come our way. So we need to kind of accept even the destruction of life is that Shiva coming to destroy everything in order to build something new. So um, it's just acceptance and just going through with determination and you may cry, you may, you know, punch, you may be upset, but it's just stuff that needs to be basically released because you are spiritually awakening and you're elevating to a different level in this um, year. So it's, it's not, it's not always, it may be feeling bad in the moment. I know I experience it too. And um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And just know that whatever needs to be done or taken place, you will take place for the benefit of all parts. So, yeah. So, Teresa, let me give you one of these two. No, you can have your own. <laughs> so you can meditate on. How about, Dinora, what do you have? yeah yeah look at that see you got your answer and it may it's hard but you're with your friend and you're meditating and praying together and that's gonna solve the situation in whichever way it needs to be solved jamie what do you have yeah so that's why we need to come back to stillness come back to our soul come back to ourselves so we can get to that space where we know that whatever it is it's what is supposed to be. Teresa, what do you have? So acceptance, accept here you are, you know you're on the path, you're not God, you're not enlightened, but we are working. It's the process. And mine is commitment creates a new space within you in which you can live uncumbered by your past. That is tremendously liberating. 
Okay, so uh, keep your con in mind, or if you resonated with somebody else's, you can um, keep theirs in mind as we get to meditate here for a moment. So let's go ahead and get still, get into our easy pose. Close the eyes. And connect with the breath, with that energy of life that flows through you, the prana. Allow your spine to be long, your shoulders relaxed, your chest open. Chin slightly tucked to lengthen the back of the neck. Focus the eyes between the eyebrows of your Ashna chakra, the cave, the opening to your soul, a space for inspiration and intuition. And as we get still and connecting to this point, our intuition increases and we know the choices we need to make that are right for us. When the mind is clouded by stress and emotions and racing thoughts, the intuition does not happen. So then we feel that we are in chaos, that we cannot make choices. Then we struggle and we fight life. So let's connect with that inner power that we all have. It's always been there. We just covered it up with clutter our life events and circumstances. So come to that freedom and that space that is already what you are. Finding yourself in the midst of life with great energy to thrive, not only survive. With each breath, connect deeper into your body. The body, in a way, it is also the mind because the body gets to store a lot of memory. A lot of past events are stored in the body and the body remembers. Letting go with each out breath of anything that comes up. Bring our mind to an intention, to a dedication, something we like to connect with, become, be or do. Connect with it, see it, write it down on the blackboard with white chalk. See it in the front of your eyes. Create a screen that expands out in front of you and see it on this big screen of life in vivid colors. Our thoughts manifest our reality, so let's Create the thoughts that will enhance our reality. We can have thoughts for ourselves and also for others, our loved ones, our families, our friends, anybody that struggles and needs help. See them in that circumstance you want them to be at the end of their turmoil. happy, accepting, loving, released, liberated, free, and back to themselves. No matter what happened along the way, we just see the end result for them that they are well, and we are well as well. And then let that image go, send it out into the universe and know that it will come back. 
when time is right. And allow your body to be more and more relaxed as you breathe slower and slower. And let your mind be more clear, more aware. Meditation, contemplation, it's a state of pure awareness. You become that awareness. Anything that may seem disturbing to your mind or body, release it out through the breath. Everything that comes up needs to be seen. It's stuff we have not processed. So we see it, accept it, and release it. Our emotions, our thoughts are like little children coming to mom when she cooks in the kitchen and one says, mommy, 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 look at me, look what I have, look what I've done. And if you give them attention for just a second, look at them and acknowledge them, they'll be out their way back to play. And that's how our emotions and thoughts are as well. They want to be seen and then they're out on their way. No resistance, no pushing them away, not suppressing them, just simply seeing them as they are and releasing them one by one by one. And just to simplify this process of letting go, I have a simple formula, I call it a triple A. So any thought or emotion that comes your way, you acknowledge it, allow it, abandon it. Acknowledge, allow, abandon. Triple A, it's easy to remember, you can use it when you're meditating, just to come back to your state. When the body is still and the mind is quiet, we resolve situations. We get enlightened suddenly with something we were trying to process. So let whatever comes up for you, or even if it's nothing, that's great too. Enjoy the state of pure awareness. And let's go ahead and open our eyes. And start to move the body, stretching the legs out in the front. Point and flex the feet.
okay, and go side to side. All right, inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, reach forward. Bend the knees so you can grab your big toes. Pull them towards you. Let the spine lengthen. Inhale here and exhale, fold deeper. You know, inhale, lift the head and chest, pull on your toes, look up between the eyebrows. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, continue on six more times. Lengthening the whole back body, opening, activating the spine and the sciatic nerve. Great. Inhale, rise up, engage the core as you lift. Exhale, bring the hands to your side for Dandasana staff pose. Sit bones implanted into the floor, heels pressing out, palms by your hips pressing down. Lengthen the spine, feel like you are elongating the spine and the back of the legs into a staff pose. Keep the spine tall, align with the cervical vertebrae and the head. Deepen the breath, chest is open, abdomen engages and lifts up and just feel your posture here as you breathe three more times. Just really acknowledging the length of your spine, the energy of your spine. Feeling your power around the heart center, your breath in the lungs. Good. Release the arms, bring them back behind the body and press them on the floor. Walk them back a little bit until your chest is open. Look up between the eyebrows and breathe. Simple pose, but very meaningful for the heart and lungs and the throat chakra, thyroid gland. Gaze between the eyebrows, three more breaths. Release the arms, inhale, bring the arms up. Stretch them up, interlace the fingers, stretch up, look up. Exhale, release the arms down, stretch the right leg out to the side and bring the left foot in. Inhale, arms up, exhale, reach to the right. Inhale, rise, exhale, reach and lengthen. One more time, inhale, exhale. Stay here, tap the chin. Towards the chest, look at the navel, engage the navel to the spine, lengthen the right leg and breathe. Press that left knee down. Inhale, bring the left arm up and out. To the left, look over your left thumb and exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open, look back, follow with your gaze, and exhale, go right. Inhale again, open, expand the heart center, breathe in, and exhale. One more time, just like that. Exhale. Inhale, back to center, exhale, switch the legs. Inhale, arms up, exhale, hinge to the left. Inhale, rise, exhale, over. Inhale, up, exhale. Stay here, chin to chest, navel to spine, rounding inward towards the knee. 
breathe, open the back body, drop the right knee down. Inhale, rise, exhale, look to your right. Exhale, reach over to the left. Inhale, arm up and over. Exhale, crossing over. And again, inhale, expand. Look at your right thumb. Exhale, cross. And inhale, back to center. Twist to the right. Bring the left hand to right knee. And turn to your right, reaching back and over, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reach it over, walking the hand further back. Left heel presses out, stretch and lengthen. Reach the left arm around the waist. Look over the right shoulder. Deep breath. Inhale back. Exhale, switch legs. Left hand back, right arm up, reach up. Twist, right hand to left knee. Go, look over your shoulder, drop the left knee down, flex the right foot, press through the heel. Inhale, walk the hand further back, right arm up and over. Keep pressing through the heel, engaging this right side from the heel through the fingertips. Inhale, back to center, cross the arm around your back. Turn to the right, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, legs out. One more time here, sit bones into the floor. We're gonna exhale and walk the hands out just to take a forward fold here. Let go of the neck, of the shoulders, of the head. Take three breaths. Inhale, walk it back, bend the knees, hands to the floor and turn around to tabletop. Cat cow, inhale, exhale, moving the spine here, activating all the vertebrae of the spine, the nerve endings that come up the spine, realign and activate. The hormonal system gets to be activated as we work on the adrenal, the thymus gland, thyroid, parathyroid, pineal, and pituitary. So as you look between the eyebrows, you are accessing and enhancing the pineal glands between the eyebrows. It's in the middle of the brain. It's not right to the eyebrows, but it's in that position, that direction. Move the spine, move the body, stay with the breath. Allow the breath to lead the movements. Breath follows movement, movement follows breath. Create a flow that is soothing and healing, comfortable and natural. All right, come back to neutral. Let's stretch the right leg back, flex the foot and stretch back into that heel. Lift the leg, point and flex the foot. 
circle the ankle. Reverse. Left arm out in front. Reach the arm out to the side, inhale, knee out to the side, exhale. If you wish, reach back and grab the foot into your hand. Lift the head and chest and look up. Your arm is a bow, your body is the arrow. Exhale and release. The left side, left leg back, point. Uh, flex the head, lift the leg back, reaching through the Achilles tendon. Lift the leg, point flex. Circle the ankle. Right arm out, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, float the arm to the side, knee opens to the side, hover. And exhale, reach back, grab the foot into the hand, Lift the head and chest, look up. Exhale, release. Move the hips side to side. And let's make a gentle fold under our knees or put your blanket under your knees. Make a three fold with your mat if you'd like, if you don't have a blanket for our knees. And walk the hands out a little bit more. We're gonna do a pose here and you reach the chest forward and we lift the back up. And then we wiggle back in towards the heels. It's like a wave, inhale, chest through and up. Then exhale, tailbone goes back and down. And then again, hovering over the floor and lifting. It's almost like an up dog to down dog, but a mini version of it. Stretching back from child's pose, we create a baby dog here. Pressing back and in like a wave, sliding up and through, lifting the chest, stretching back down again, sliding that chest, lifting the head, lifting the neck, look up, drop the hips, exhale, reaching back and down. And then again, sliding forward like a snake or trying to mimic a snake or a um, one of those worms movements, just really like a wave for the spine, for the whole spine from tailbone to crown. One more time. Sliding through. Great job. Good, now we're gonna circle the hips in this direction. Stretch that hip out to the side onto the left and then bring them down towards the floor and then all the way to the right and all the way back. So create a big circle. Opening our hips and pelvis and psoas, and hip flexors, strengthening the arms, doing a lot of lubrication into the hip. Your hips may talk to you now. Make sure you, you are kind and move at your pace. And let's reverse direction, guys. Make sure your knees are doing okay on that blanket. Big circles. Lubricating the hips, bringing this hyaluronic acid into the joint, synovial fluid to keep things moving and flexible and fluid. All right, last one here. And stretch back to child's pose for a moment. Walk the arms to the right side and open your left side body. Take a couple of breaths, opening into the left side here. Inhale, walk it back to center. And as you exhale, walk it to the other side. Open and stretch for your opposite side of the body. 
breathing into the side of the rib cage. Good. Inhale, bring it back to center. And let's come to our tabletop once more. We're gonna inhale, left arm up. Look up, lengthen, stretch. Exhale, bring it through, needle. And inhale, go back up. Exhale, bring it around the waist. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down and under. Drop the ear to the floor and walk the right hand over to the left side of the head. Elbow up to the sky. Keep the hips on top of the knee. Inhale, bring the right arm around the waist. Opening the right shoulder. Two breaths here. Right hand back to the floor, press into the other hand, inhale, left, come to tabletop. Inhale, right arm up, reach up, look up, lengthen. Exhale, walk it through. Inhale, up. Exhale, around the waist. Bring it back up, inhale. And exhale, under. Drop the right ear to the floor. Hips to stay on top of the knees. Walk the left hand to the right side above the crown of the head. Elbow up. Breathe. Inhale, left arm around the waist. Opening up space between the shoulder blade and the spine on the right side. In the shoulder socket, deltoid and pectoralis on the left side. Allow this energy to flow in this diagonal stretch. Exchanging energies from left to right, across the chest, across the back. Inhale, left hand back to the floor. Press into the hands, come on back to tabletop. Press into the hands, curl the toes under, lift the knees off the floor, downward dog. Walk the feet in place. And we're gonna come a little closer with the hands towards the feet, just to work a little bit with our toes. So make sure you have your knees bent so you can actually touch the floor with your hands. We're gonna come up on the tippy toes. And then exhale, we're gonna to drop to the heels and lift the toes off the floor. Exhale, tippy toes. And back to the heels. Inhale, come on your tips. Exhale, back to the heels. Okay, back to neutral. Slide on the side of the foot, opening up the side of the ankle. Your knees are opening wide. Enjoy this stretch for the outer area of the leg and the ankle. Bring it back in. Exhale, stretch it open again. Onto the side of the foot and down. One more time. Good. Now we're going to go inward. Bring the knees together. Come onto the edge of the big toe and the edge of the foot. Lift off the best you can here. Bring it down. Inhale, going in. Lift. And drop. One more time. Lift, sink inward. And release. Now we're going to do some frogs since we are here. Heels together, toes apart, fingertips on the floor. We're going to drop down to a squat like a malasana. We're going to look up on your here. And then exhale, reach back up. Inhale as you squat. Exhale as your hips go back up. Inhale, exhale. Jumping little froggies. <laughs> Inhale, this is great for the inner thighs, for the spleen meridian and hip flexors. See how your knees are behaving though. 
because it can be challenging for the knees at first. But it does keep the knees lubricated, however, so it's a good thing unless you have any restrictions. Because if your knees are flexible, patellar ligaments are also flexible and everything around it. So it's great work for the knees. Three, two, and one. So let's come up for Tadasana for a moment. Just let your feet really plant into the earth in all sides, the inner foot, the outer. Lift the toes up and bring them back down, separating them and imprint them into the earth. Just feel a strong mountain posture, Tadasana. Arms to the side, palms open, spine is long, neck relaxed. Close the eyes and feel yourself in the middle of the universe, the highest, tallest mountain on planet Earth. You are steadfast, strong, steady like a mountain. You are also flexible enough when the winds come, you sway with the wings and you don't fall. Move into your body, swaying in your hips, just feeling this wave of vibration. Close and open your palms. Feel the energy in your fingers. Keep your fingers curved and still. Become still and feel the energy body. This is your body, your dwelling your energy, and there's energy around you. There's an aura field around you that goes out nine feet in all directions. Below the feet, above the head, sideways, forwards and backwards. Feel your aura field. As you breathe, you energize. Your fingers may be tingling. Your palm may be hot in the center. That is your chi. It's your energy of life, your prana. Feel that. It is who you are. Bring the feet together. Inhale, arms up, extended mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale up, slightly back. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the hips, flat back. Exhale, hands to the floor, monkey pose. Lift the head and chest. Make sure you have room behind you, guys. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right foot back. Let's open up this right hip, drop the knee to the floor a few times. Stretching forward and back. Inhale, bring the left foot back. Downward facing dog. Exhale, come to plank pose. Drop the knees to the floor, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, drop the chest between the arms, elbows to your side. Inhale, lift the head and chest, and exhale, press back. Inhale, right foot forward, left foot forward. Monkey pose, inhale. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, arms out, hands to hips, flat back. Inhale, arms out, swan dive up, reach up to the sky, bring the sky into your heart. Inhale, other side, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands to hips, flat back, engage the core. Lengthen the spine, lengthen the hamstrings. 
Exhale, hands to floor, monkey pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the left foot back. No lunge on this left side, drop the knee. A few times, open up that quadriceps, hip flexor and so as. Inhale, right leg goes back, downward dog. Exhale, into plank. Drop the knees if you need to, or exhale, hover right here. Inhale, drop the hips, lift the head and chest. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep your arms level and square to the mat. Just let the body do the work. Exhale down. Let's repeat right side. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Let the gravity pull that foot down. And observe here how it is opening more and more and more as you hold. And if you want more, drop that foot to the floor on the outside of your mat and come into wild thing. Exhale, flip it back. Leg goes up and stretches and exhale down. Inhale, other side, left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, hover. Feel that stretch, feel the opening as you hold the pose. And that may be just enough for you. Or if you wanna flip the dog, go ahead and do that. Open the chest, look up, extend the arm overhead. Wild thing. Get that wild side of you to come out. <laughs> exhale, bring it back, left leg up. And exhale down. Nice. Let's step the right foot forward. Come to a warrior one. Arms out and up. Stretch, lengthen. Align the knee above the ankle. Press into the edge of the back foot. Find your strength here. Exhale, warrior two. And bend the knee on the right side and come sideways. Both feet are parallel, slightly in with your toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, engage the core, dropping with the chest leading. Come towards the floor with the hands on the outside of the feet. Drop the head between the legs. Pull out from under your heels. Engage the arms, engage the legs. Spine is long, gravity pulls you down. Navel to the spine, tailbone to crown, it's aligned. Breathe here, enjoy this inversion. Let flow to all the organs in the upper body, pulling them away from gravity. Inhale, bring the arms out to the side and start to lift back up. Okay, exhale. Right toes forward, left toes forward. Come into a triangle pose. Arms out to the side. Both feet are facing right. And exhale, triangle. Right hand down, left arm up. Extended ankle, reach the arm overhead, stretch. Left heel to left fingertips. Exhale, left hand down. Left foot comes in a bit more, so now your feet are on a railroad track. Left hand stays down. Inhale, inverse the triangle, right arm. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Step your weight into the right foot and lift the left leg off the floor. Lengthening at a hip level, keep the hands to the floor. 
find your balance here. If you want, you can lift off one hand or both. Airplane wings, exhale, drop the hands, step the foot back, step the right foot back. Come to downward dog. Let's do a flow here with your knees to the floor if you lift. Exhale down, inhale, rise, and exhale back. Nice. Inhale, roll our left leg up. Exhale, step through, warrior one on the other side. Knee above the ankle, arms are lifted, gaze is up, open the chest, open the heart, breathe. Exhale, warrior two. Stretch the left knee, exhale, hand to the floor, right arm up, triangle. Extend the arm overhead, extend it angle. Deep in the breath. Exhale, right hand down. Right foot steps in closer. Inverse triangle, left arm up. You can also be on the block, right hand on the block. Exhale, bring it down. Shift the weight into the left foot and lift the right leg back, finding your balance into Tula Dandasana, balancing stick. Maybe try with one hand on the floor or maybe fingertips barely touching. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, step the foot back. Come to downward dog. We're gonna skip the flow. Let's go ahead and inhale, right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, bring it forward into a low lunge. Left knee to the floor. Inhale, arms up. Reach up, lengthen, open the chest, press the hips forward. Great. Exhale, hands to heart. Twist to the right. Breathe here. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, half splits on the right side, hands to the floor. Just the right leg creates a half split here. Ardha Hanumasana. Chin towards the chest, forehead towards the knee. Bend your knee so maybe your forehead touches the knee. Inhale, lift the head, bring the foot to the left side, come to sleeping pigeon. Exhale forward. Lengthen the arms out in front. Align your shoulders and align your hips. See how this feels in your body. If the foot goes further out, you will advance the pose. So you can keep it close to your left hip right now. Maybe heel is on the hip bone. Few more breaths here. Good. And let's go ahead and inhale, come back in, lift the head and chest, press the palms to the floor, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, hands press into the floor, curl the toes, lift the left knee off the floor, step the right foot back. Walk your feet in place, releasing that right knee. Inhale, left leg up and over, open. Exhale, bring it forward, low lunge on this side. 
Inhale, knee to the floor, foot to the floor. Find your balance, lift the arms, open the chest. Exhale, hands to heart, twist to the left. Great. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Ardha Hanumasana on the left side. Slide that leg out. See how much you want to go. Bend the knee, curling in, chin to chest, forehead to knee. Rounding inward into yourself like a fern. Inhale, bring the left foot to the right edge of the mat and come to sleeping pigeon. Align the knee where you want it, align the shoulders and then the hips. Stretching that right leg out, aligning ankle, foot and leg. Nice. Good job, Anusha. <laughs> Great. And see if you need to raise that left hip a little bit to drop the right down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stabilizing a little bit more. Awesome. Left in this a little bit. Okay, good. Much better. Yeah, there we go. Enjoy this beautiful stretch for your hips. Inhale, walk the hands in, lift the head and chest into proud pigeon. Bring the hands to your side, lift the chest, grow out of your spine. Exhale, press into the hands, step the left foot back and come to downward dog. And then let's come to our knees. We will sit back in rock pose. Bring a blanket under your uh, tush if you need to. Inhale, let's bring the left arm up between the shoulder blades and right hand from below. Maybe your fingers touch, lift up the spine. Inhale and exhale, start to reach forward. Inhale up. Exhale down three times, bowing to your higher self. The divinity inside of you. Nice, up here tall, switch the arms, right arm from above. Inhale and exhale, go down. Up and down three times. Bow to your divinity. Acknowledge yourself, honor yourself, your true self. Stop into the center. Exhale, right hand releases down to meet the left hand. Maybe you get them at the base of the spine. Open the chest. Open the neck and throat. Drop the head back. Inhale back. Ardha Kurmasana, we're going to bring uh, arms up, cross the thumbs, palms pressing together, half tortoise. We're going to inhale and lengthen the spine. As we exhale, we're going to hinge forward, engaging the core, dropping very slowly with control from our core center. 
as we drop the head and then the palms to the floor. At first, your hands would come first and then your head, but eventually as you strengthen, you will happen the other way. Squeeze the knees, lengthen the arms, active pose, look between the eyebrows. Press the palms together, squeeze the knees, engage the core and lift slowly. Your core is gonna help you here. Nice, lift up the center and exhale, release. All right, let's extend the right leg out. Left knee to the body. Okay, we're gonna bring the left arm on the inside of the left knee and then wrap it around to the outside and then right hand comes from behind. Twist to the right. Nice. Good, deep breath here, inhale and exhale. Bring it back to center. Release the left leg, right knee to the chest, right arm underneath and out and over. Left hand from behind, twist to the left. Breathe as you lengthen the spine. Inhale and exhale. Feel your pose, breathe through the challenge. And there you are, you got to the other side. Inhale, bring it forward. Bring the feet together, bound angle. Inhale into your spine, exhale, hinge forward. Open the feet like you have a brand new book with the pages stuck together, open them out to the side. Put pressure on the pad of your big toe. And then walk up to your big toe and massage all the way around. Two more breaths here. And inhale, bring it up. Turn around on your backs. Half happy baby, left leg stays out, right foot comes up, grab the foot, bring it into the side body, almost into your armpit. And let the left leg stretch naturally, don't force it. Just feel this right area contracting and left area opening. And switch right leg, drops down, left foot comes in, bring it into the side body, squeeze it tight, pull towards you as the right leg drops towards the floor. Bring the other leg up, have happy baby, rock side to side, enjoy your 10 toes. You have 10 new toys. Bring the legs up, inhale, and exhale, waterfall them down very slow. And find your place in the middle of your mat, creating your space for Shavasana. Take as much space as you want, a lot of space. Let your toes flare out to the sides, palms up for receiving mode or down for grounding. Release any tension in the neck, move your head side to side. And scan the body from fingertips to head to toes. Wiggle and stretch your toes, move and shake the legs. Stretch the arms, shake them, releasing any residual tension and drop them back down. Feel your body letting go into Mother Earth's embrace. 
softening into this embrace, feeling supported, cared for, and loved. Let the breath take you deeper into your body, into yourself. Slowing down the breath will have an effect on slowing down the heart rhythm and slowing down the thoughts in your mind. Bring back your intention, your dedication. See it clearly, be it done, accomplished, received, completed, and let it go. And relax and soften deeper. All the muscles, all the tendons, all the fascia, it's to release and let go. Fascia wraps around the whole body. Meninges wraps around the brain. So let that thin, clear membrane that wraps around your brain to really let go, giving your brain a little break from tightness, from contraction, from thinking. Anytime we have a negative thought, that membrane contracts and then we contract it sends messages to the whole body to contract. So let's not allow those negative thoughts to stay with us. If we they do come, we can always counteract them. Coming back to the breath, coming back to positive mind, saying all positive affirmations to ourselves. I am healthy, whole, and I am a divine being. I am generous, I am kind, I am prosperous, I am abundant, and I am enough. And I am loved because I am lovable. Say kind things to yourselves because sometimes other people won't be able to. But we have a choice how our internal dialogue takes takes place. I am healthy, happy, and whole. Nothing needs to be added. Maybe a few things subtracted. Any negativity, any toxic energy, anything from the past that holds you back. Let those be released, coming off your back, like the water on a swan's back. This is time for integration. All the pieces of the puzzle get to be put back together to recreate you, a better upgraded version of your being. All the missing fragments or the lost fragments are coming back to integrate. Accept them and love them. It's why we resist, persist. Accepting even our shadow side, you'll make it better.
Extend the arms overhead, guys. Lengthen, stretch, energize your body. Open the eyes, bend the knees, hug them tight. Bring your chin towards the knees, activate your spine, rock side to side. And come to your right side and lift up to sit. Take a moment back into half lotus. Close your eyes and notice yourself. Receive yourself in this new shape and form that you are now. Keeping this benefits of the practice for the rest of the day, for the weekend, for the week. Thanks for sharing your practice with me, putting the hands to the heart. Namaste. Have a good one. Welcome. Ah, that was young. Thank you, Diana. You're welcome, Anusha. Have a good day. See you later. Have a good Sunday. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>